brother came in before I did and joined the year that Miss Morrison became head teacher. Because of this, I've had the chance to witness every change that has been made over the time that Miss Morrison has been here. I've watched the school come from just chipping in at 18th in the league tables to being up there with the most prestigious schools in the borough. In my opinion, today is a chance for all of you to see the changes that I have. It's no secret that the school has had a reputation for a long time, but when you see everything in action today, I guarantee that by the end of it, you'll see that the reputation is long gone. Today is the day that you can all see the school for what it is and not what it's said to be. Please take everything in and don't be scared to ask questions, and I'll now hand over to Owen, who's our student president, to tell you more about what the school's like now. Good morning everyone. I'm student president of Bow Park Academy. During my time at Bow Park, I have had many opportunities. Some of these I'm going to share with you. Bow Park gave me the opportunity to take a trip of a lifetime to South Africa. But I had to work for it. This was something anyone would dream of. The feeling I had was undescribable. That's why I took the opportunity with both hands and done everything to help. This trip is one I will never forget. The things I've done out in South Africa and the people I met were amazing. Another one of my major achievements was becoming Sportsman of the Year, which was last year. This was out of the whole school. Then come applying for head boy, head girl and student president. And I thought I would be the right person for that because I had so much to pay back to the school from what I had achieved from the school. So I applied by giving a letter to Mrs Morrison saying why I should get the role. Then I had to do a speech in front of all staff, why I should get the role. Also, two interviews. But I went through this because I wanted to give back, and I love Bell Park. These are my major achievements I have experienced with my time at Bell Park. I could, could I ask for a better school? No, I couldn't. I really feel that this school has gave me the best I could get in every way. We are a big family. As you walk around, you will feel how amazing Bow Park is. Everyone goes beyond the call of duty every day of every minute. We never give up. I'm now coming to the end of my journey at Bow Park, which is very sad, but I will take all my memories with me. I'm now going to introduce you to our head teacher, who is the head teacher of the year for London and South East. She is one of the, the, fi the eight finalists for the country's Head Teacher of the Year. This will be on national TV on the 27th of October. Thank you. I thought it might be nice by just starting by asking you, because I am a mum and I've been in your position and I've been on tours and I've had that experience of fear and excitement and, oh gosh, I'm making a really big decision in my life. It felt as if it was like the weight of the world on my shoulders. And I felt we'd start by me asking you, what type of school are you here and are you looking for? Are you looking for a school with a successful academic track record? Are you looking for a sporty school? Are you looking for a school with good behaviour? Is it a happy school you're looking for? Or it might even be one that you're looking for a school where there's good relationships between staff and staff and staff and students, and actually students and students. That might be some of the criteria when you're on tours for us that you might be looking for. To help you in your decision, I thought it might be useful if I take the four Ofsted strands, how they write the reports, how they make value judgments on the school, take the four Ofsted strands and actually dovetail that and share it with you or share with you some of the things that are happening at Bear Park. So if we start with achievement. This year, 68% of our students left school with five A stars to see. Some other examples to, to share with you, 78% of our PE students got A star to see and a huge 93% of our drama students got A star to see. Our triple scientists, top elite students, our triple scientists got 100% A stars to C, and the majority of our triple scientists got A star to A, highest in the school. Our academic status and our academy status go hand in glove. 
We got academy status um, in February of this year purely based on our national examination results, based on the national and rapid rise in national examination results. That's why we got academy status. And now, Bird Park Academy, we're no longer a school. We're an academy with a team of governors, and the governors and myself, we report to my, uh, Michael Gove, who's the Secretary of State for Education. That cringeworthy piece of um, information that you saw in the video, um, when I was telling the students, um, not that it's cringeworthy, it was just listening to my own voice was cringeworthy, that bit we're in the top 100 most improved schools in the country. That is anything but cringeworthy. I'm very, very, very proud of that. So we're in the top cohort, the top 100 most improved schools nationally. And then we've got our individual successes, and that's something I'm very proud of. So I wanted just to share with you, and they're in the building today, which, which means that they love their school and they have come back. In 2012, our head girl, Alice Porter, top in the country, Alice got 14 A stars. <coughs> this year, we had Tom Brooks, our ex-deputy head boy. Tom got nine A stars and four A's. And Rebecca Milson, closely at his heels, Rebecca Milson got nine A stars and two A's. They're just some individual successes I wanted to share with you, but we've got loads more successes out there that you can talk to. So achievement is the first Ofsted strand, and the next strand is behaviour. Ofsted are red hot on behaviour. So here's some of the things I'll share with you at Bird Park Academy in terms of our behaviour. Well, last week we had a mock Ofsted, so we had some Ofsted inspectors in who were looking at the school. And the one criticism they made of us in terms of our behaviour is sometimes our students, believe it or not, and this is true, governors, they haven't had this yet, sometimes our students are a wee bit quiet. They're quiet, I haven't got a problem with it, and they're sometimes a tiny bit passive. I haven't got a problem with that either. But to share with you in terms of behaviour, some of the things, or some of the current things that are happening at Burr Park. We have what's called a new hope. I actually thought it was no hope at one point. If you think the U, I thought I'd have known it, but, it, but it's not. It's the new hope system we've got. And it stands for, and the students are very, very vocal in this, because they know that if you break the new hope system, you have a very, we have a very rigorous detention system. So no hope, or new hope, not no hope, new hope is no answering back, your uniform's got to be perfect, homework's got to be done, you have to be on task, you have to be punctual, and you have to have the proper equipment. If you break those rules, you could end up having an hour and a half detention at night on the same day that you break the rules. And when we implemented the system, you know, we'd had like about 180 children in detention. That's whittled down and we probably have about a handful of people every night in detention. Because actually, before I say anything else about the vision of the school, we have a very rigorous detention system. That's just taken as red. Our corridor behaviour, um, I heard some people on tour talking and actually I had a little smile because I heard some tour guides saying we have to go the one way system. Well, it is Saturday morning, you know, and we don't have 900 children in school, but they were going on the one-way system. So we have a one-way system going around school, but actually the cooler and probably the more interesting thing is at the changeover of lessons, it's not just the one-way system that's impressive. We do it to music, so the children can put their musical choice in. And Miss Moore, the deputy head who, who vets it, you know, it shouldn't have any um, swearing in the music. It's got to have no sexual connotations. So Miss Moore spends her life listening to music. And I don't think she's, um, you know, she, she, she's not upset about that. But we have the most amazing music going around the school, from ABBA to, you know, you name it. You can, my favourite is Reach for the Stars, you know, S Club 7. You know, those of you who are of my age, that's my very favourite song. And I think Miss Moore either to wind me up some days or to cheer me up, at the changeover of lessons, every now and again I can hear like Reach for the Stars coming on. But your musical choice, students and staff, if you want a song in there to make your day, um, to remind us to go around the one-way system, you can do. We have a Vivo system. So our Vivo system is we have a very, very, we're a rewarding school. 
and I think it was important for me to say about the rigorous detentions because my heart and my passion is whether you're an adult or whether you're a child, you need to be recognised and actually people like success to be accredited so we have a major reward system called the VIVA system. <coughs> but if you go a bit deeper to behaviour, you know, why do people behave the way they behave? Well, I think it's the, the offer or the diet you're putting in front of them. So, for example, there should be another chair there because our head boy's not here today. Um, you know, our major sportsmen and women aren't here today because they're on the Duke of Edinburgh expedition somewhere with their backpacks and they're off hiking somewhere. So um, we've got a, we're major depleted today in our top, top students because they're off somewhere hiking. Our student leadership team and our house system, you know, is a very integral part of the school. If you misbehave, you're letting, this, you're letting your house down as well, in your, as, well as, as yourself down. So that kind of stops you from being um, negatively, um, negative behaviour. The student leadership team, the house system used to be run by staff, but we're at a stage in our school now where the house system is run by students. We have four very, very strong leaders out there in year 11, and they run our house. So we have Mandela, Shakespeare, Nightingale, and Wilberforce, and actually student leadership is at its best with the house system. Not just is the house system run by the four heads of houses, but we have four executive boards of students um, with their plain ties, and they are actually running a quarter of the school. So you can be in year seven and be on the Shakespeare um, executive board uh, and help run the school. Probably the biggest thing for me and the vision that I have for our school, the ultimate dream will be that every child who attends Burr Park Academy, somewhere in your journey, just like Owen, um, you'll be off to some global expedition. He's been to South Africa. Um, the footballers last year went to South Africa. We're going back to South Africa again this year. Um, there are 15 students going to South Africa. And this time, it's not sports people. This time, I asked the staff to nominate 15 students that they think would be real ambassadors for the school. And it's 15 really quiet students that actually before I might not have even known their names. But suddenly we've got 15 students um, who are really quiet, younger students who are off to South Africa to be our ambassadors. We've got links um, and we've got £21,000 in our bank to send children to Poland, Turkey, France, Italy and Romania. Our Glee Club um, last year have just come back from Florida. So that whole concept of being a citizen of the world is something that I think Bird Park Academy we feel very strongly about. Our cricket team, um, our cricket team next year are fundraising because our cricket team are actually off to Barbados. And I think it's important that I spend a, just a minute saying to you, I'm not asking parents to fork the money out to send their children away. I think a lot of the responsibility is placed on the school. We do lots of fundraising. We have um, old card book sales, we have um, you know, glee club nights where we have a dinner, a dance here at night, £10 a ticket where you can come and we raffle, t we, raffle we backpack in Sainsbury's we actually take the responsibility to go out there and try and get the money for our children to go um, national and international behind that as well we have an infrastructure of, we have a school counsellor so of children who have issues that need to be sorted. We have a, a phenomenal school counsellor. We have the school hub, so actually in the corner of, um, of the school, diagonally to me now. If we've children, you know, if there's things not going well at home or there's arguments with their friends in school that they want, they want a bit of salvation and a bit of quietness and a bit of solace, they can go to our school hub. But I'm going to draw the Ofsted um, structure to a close because behaviour for me tends to have negative connotations. It's an Ofsted word but I would say to you for me in school we call it climate for learning. You know that bit of is the school and the feeling of the school is it conducive for learning. So we tend not to use the word behaviour, we tend to use the, the phrase climate for learning. Teaching. Teaching is the third strand, or the third Ofsted strand that they're very rigorously um, looking at. I will share back with you, in terms of teaching, 
All lessons that are taught at Bear Park School have a lesson plan. All lessons are self-evaluated and reflected upon by the staff using Ofsted criteria. We've just newly introduced something called hubs and coaching programmes, so I know that the ICT department and the maths department have linked up with the P department. I know that the drama department have linked up with the English department. So after school at night, we, we hub it, so to speak, where clusters of departments actually get together and share best practice. We have weekly workshops, so every week we go to the drama studio, the whole staff. I will start the weekly workshop, and then we spend an hour, an hour and a quarter every single week talking about what excellent and outstanding lessons look like. We spend a lot of time in class <coughs> undertaking examination preparation, because you can be as flamboyant and be as gregarious as you like, but it's really important for me that our staff teach to the examination paper. So often if you go into a lesson, you will see past papers, past exam answers, and you will see our students being prepared for national examinations. Running parallel with that, we've got interactive lessons. We expect all lessons to be interactive. We have a TV studio, so sometimes the live streaming, you know, you can do your starter activity with the students and then get it played back at the beginning of your lesson. So um, we've got a TV studio and we encourage the staff to interactively use that TV studio and use it in lesson time. Maybe we need to talk about the building. You know, that bit about interactive lessons and interactiveness and actually what's going on in the classroom. We do have bits of the building that actually we're proud of. Not all of the building, but we have our IMAX suite, we have the hairdressing salon, we have construction, you know, we've got the AstroTuff and our TV studio. We've got centres of pox, pockets of excellence of the building, which we are genuinely pleased with. The fourth Ofsted strand, and the one that pulls it together, is leadership. The last time we had our Ofsted, in fact, every Ofsted we've had, leadership has always had its strengths, and the last one, leadership, was judged as good. You need to know that because actually you're sitting thinking, does this school have a vision? And yes, it does. Does this school have a vision of if I'm going to put my child in their capable hands, what is the vision? Well, this school has got a very strong vision and a very simple vision. We just want every single child, whether they have special needs or whether they're gifted and talented or sportsmen and women or drama thespians, we just want every single child at Bird Park Academy to fulfill the potential. Every week we have learning walks, so every week myself, the deputy heads and the senior leadership team, we never tell the staff what day of the week we're having learning walks, we walk the building and we check lesson plans. We walk the building and we look at the planning and assessment folders, which has got all the children's data in there, we look at behaviour logs, we look at exactly what's going on on a weekly basis inside the classroom. Student leadership. When we're talking leadership, it's not just the head teacher's leadership or the senior leadership's leadership or middle leader's leadership. Student leadership here is a real strength. Our student leaders actually go in and out of lessons and check the quality of lessons and the quality of lesson provision that's going on on a daily basis at Burr Park Academy. So to sum up, what am I really saying and why are you here today and why are you here to leave this hall and what are you looking for? In conclusion, and I've chosen these words very carefully, <coughs> Bird Park Academy, what is the essence of us as a school? I think we're a real family. I genuinely, you know, talking to some star or some parents here, how long have I been here and how long do I intend to be here? I'll be here as long as my health and as long as myself, you know, every morning when I get up, I will be at Burr Park Academy. There is no finer place to be. It's like my second home. But it's not just my second home. It's the second home of the staff and the students and our ex-students. We've just set up an alumni. So over the last 10 years of me being here, we've got children who've gone through school and actually have gone to prestigious universities and have come back today to do tours and be tour guides. So if you're going to decide to come here, and enter this partnership. 
with us. Don't think it's a little five-year block in your life. It's a lifetime commitment because that bit of the familyness and actually being a real family means everything to me. I think we're firm, but we're also really fair. There are passionate staff here, and you'll meet them today. We've got staff who actually care about the students that they teach. It's more than just a job to our staff. We have aspiring learners. So when Rachel talks about what the school was like 10 years ago, that was one thing. Today, when you talk to our students, they're aspiring to be the best they can be, and they're aspiring to go to top universities. I think I'd be right in saying, and I'm hoping you'll find the evidence today, I think we go the extra mile. We do Saturday morning classes, we do booster classes at night, we do lunchtime clubs, you know, we do half-term activities, we do summer classes, all of that, and the staff don't get paid for that. They do it because they have a passion for the students. The school. We're not building a school on the building. We are building a school on relationships. And if you see nothing else today, I'm hoping that you will find that the relationships between staff and students and students and students actually is something that we're really proud of. We care and we're a happy environment. But if you're looking for a school with a successful track record academically, 10 years ago I couldn't have said that. 10 years ago when I came here as a new head and I was saying to the parents, trust me, buy into my vision and come with me, they days are way gone. Because what I am saying to you today, this is a Bower Park Academy and we've built now a school that's got a successful academic track record. So if you decide to apply for a place today, I wish you lots of luck. I wish you lots of luck with your application and I'm genuinely really grateful that you gave us the opportunity to share our success story with you. So thank you very much.